Hello YouTubers and YouTubees, North Coast T here. Today we're going to be working on a 2002 Chevy Malibu. Just picked it up as a winter beater. Uh, it's in pretty sad shape. It's been sitting a long while. Looks pretty ugly. Tires are bald. Uh, one important thing that all winter beaters need is heat, and it does not have it. So today we're going to be installing a new heater blower motor. The tools you're going to need for this job are flat blade screwdriver, comes in handy when helping to pry, a 9.32nd socket or 7 millimeter, either one works, a 5.5 millimeter, short extension, and a ratchet. We're going to start on the passenger side floorboard. Looks like we're going to take out this 9.30 seconds here, holding on this plastic cover. And on this side is a push clip right there. Right here by the light is another 9.30 seconds up inside there. Once you pull those out, this just pulls down and out of the way. Now what you're trying to look at is your blower motor right up in here. Let's see if we can find out what kind of jargon we're getting into with that. Okay, it's on to the next step. It's been about 40 days and about 40 degrees cooler. As you can see, the snow has started to fall. But like a lot of my projects, I uh, have to take little breaks because other things come up. So next you want to move on to the 5.5 millimeter bolts. Should be three of them holding the fan in. Let's get a look at them. They are the gold ones. These here. There's three of them around the fan. And looks like one plug will be on the back side. Because why would it be on the front side where you can see it? Let's uh, take those out. So, you can see the second one here. First one is back here on the passenger side. And of course, the third one is behind this electrical box. So, we're going to have to move that. This electrical box kind of just slides toward the passenger side and you can drop it down so you can get to that third bolt that they hide underneath it it's right there so let's take that out next With those three screws removed it just drops straight down and then you can see the plug here on the back side so you want to remove that Verify that the old one and the new one are the same. The motors look a little different, but the plugs are identical. The bolt holes are identical. So go ahead and do the reverse steps to put it back in. And we'll see if it works. And you definitely want to test it before you put it all back together. So let's see. She works. Look at that. I'd say that's a success. Oh look, it sucked dirt already in there. Alright, now I'll finish putting it in I guess. 
I know I've said this in other videos, but one thing you want to make sure you do is when you have a metal screw going into plastic, you want to run it counterclockwise a couple turns until you feel the screw seat, and that way you don't strip it out. Because if you just twist it in there, you're going to make new threads every time. And and if you make new threads every time, there won't be another place to put threads. So you run it counterclockwise a couple times, you'll feel it, the screw sit down and seat into the plastic that you're going into. And then you can run it clockwise after that to finish screwing it in. And the only other thing I did is I took this plug loose here because it kept hanging up on the edge of the fan housing when I was trying to put it in. So I yanked that down just to get it out of the way. And I plugged in the fan before I put it up there to make it easier. So after we run these in, we'll make sure it still works. And you should be all set. Thank you for checking out my video. I hope you have a great day. Oh, it also helps if you're a contortionist. So, if you have a contortionist friend or you're a contortionist, you can make a lot of money working on cars. And uh, if you know one, call them and have them help you out. Thank you and have a good day.